the balloon fist disaster that took place in Cleveland, Ohio, in 1986. In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at what happened during the event, the causes of the disaster, and the aftermath of the incident. Before to that, subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. Our channel is your knowledge store. In 1986, the United Way of Cleveland decided to organize a balloon fist as a fundraiser for charity. The goal was to break the world record for the most balloons launched simultaneously with an aim of releasing over 1.5 million balloons into the air. On September 27, 1986, the balloon fist began as planned. However, later that day, a sudden thunderstorm hit the area during the balloon launch. Strong winds caused the balloons to break free from their moorings and sent them flying into the sky. The balloons continued to rise until they were out of sight, causing chaos and confusion for local residents and authorities. The balloons were carried by the wind towards Lake Erie and other parts of the city, causing environmental and safety concerns. The cleanup effort began immediately after the disaster, with authorities and volunteers working to collect the balloons from the streets and other areas. However, it took several days to clean up the mess, and some balloons were never found. The balloon fist disaster was a significant safety and environmental issue, and it led to criticism and scrutiny of the United Way of Cleveland's planning and execution of the event. Two fishermen was missing who went fishing on Lake Erie. Rescue operations are took place but unable to rescue them and their bodies washed ashore two days later. The event was considered a significant failure. In conclusion, the balloon fist disaster of 1986 was a tragic event that had far-reaching consequences. It serves as a reminder of the importance of safety and planning in large-scale public events and the potential risks involved. Thank you for watching this video, and we hope you found this informative.